I think all that, that they changed was the outfit and the glasses. Well, that's amusing. I think we got to talk to Tom Thomas. Tomas. I know you're up to something. Staring at the door like a... Like Agent that. York, your words really made me think about Anna's death again. How could one do such a terrible thing? I'm still in shock. Thomas, I forgot to ask. You don't have a tattoo on your back, do you? A uh, tattoo? Well, I do, actually. But why? Could you show it to me, please? What? Now? Here? Yes, please. This is vital for our investigation. We aren't even get Okay. If it's gonna help you any. Yeah, just do it, like, right out here in front of everybody. <sighs> well, I'm wondering who G is now, but aside from that... Did it tell you anything? It told me that you didn't kill Anna. Of course not. What are you saying? You want to see that tattoo, Zack? A big heart with an arrow through it and love G in the center. I don't know when he got that done, but we've all been through the 80s. Does G, G stand for George? Is that what it means? Okay, what? who's in here? Quint? And Richard? Any, who's this? Oh, a suspect that we haven't been introduced to yet. Good evening, Agent. Brian the Insomniac. I think I have his card. Good evening, Mr... Brian, the Gravekeeper. <clears throat> Brian. Mr. Brian. I like the retro look. Auditioning for Little Grave on the Prairie? Anna. Oh, she was so beautiful. Before too I murdered soon. her. Mm. Too, too soon to go to the grave. So sad, so... Sad. I totally agree. That's why I'm here. Looking for the one who did it. Were you close to her? Hmm. Anna. <laughs> her smile. So warm. Anna. Blonde hair. So bright. And he just walks There's away. There's a graveyard somewhere in town, Zack. I'm not excited about the idea, but maybe we should at least check it out. I've already been there and checked it out. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Maybe we will find something this time. Quint, you're here too. I didn't think you were the town meeting kind of guy. A friend of mine was killed, you know, man? I'm not letting this one go quietly. Or I'll do anything to help you catch the scumbag who did this. Thank you. But vigilance is not justice. Nothing good will come from desiring simple revenge. Oh, come on, I'm not that stupid. But I'm frustrated a bit just thinking that there's nothing I can do about it. We each have a role, purpose in life, a raison d'etre. Don't forget that. I know, I know. Just don't preach to me. You're sounding like my old man. Zack, wow. I'm in shock like a weasel in an electric chair. He just made me realize that I must be getting old. You're getting old? So, finding your way around okay? Yes, pretty much. But some people are hard to get along with. <laughs> people problems, huh? I thought city folks were used to things like that. There's lots more people in the city than there are here. Well, that's true. But I started simplifying things a bit. Here's my new way of thinking. It's simple, really. There's only three types of people. Criminals, victims, and investigators. Everyone else are just vegetables. Vegetables called other people. You really are strange. All right, I think we're done talking to everybody. Unless there's more people around here. Hey, Asha. Agent York. 
You make any progress? Of course, plenty. And tell me, Usher, when is Anna's funeral? Mm, that's still undecided. Sally isn't really in any condition to do it right now. Her mother? I don't see her here. Anna was the sole reason for living, after her husband was deceased. Well, she's probably huddled up at home. And I should probably take some time to pay her a visit. Well, yes, you should. And I'd appreciate it if you could, too. Uh, but don't go too hard on her, okay? I wasn't going to go hard on her, I don't think. Hey, Fiona. Any more quizzes? Are you getting closer to catching the murderer? Hello again, Fiona. Good to see you here. Well, Dr. Johnson told me to be here. He said it would be important. Well, that was good advice. He may be young, but he seems like a wise man. Oh, and he's a very hard-working person, too. Everyone thinks he's some kind of weirdo, but I don't think so at all. People don't understand why he's in the autopsy room all day, but I do. He's doing research to make the world a better place in the future. You know, he already made a fortune in L.A. with his career. I did not know that. You didn't? Oh, the doctor is a very rich man. He has a really big house over by the lake. Amazing, Zach. He must be loaded. Rich and young. A perfect combination. But you don't get that feeling from him at all, do you? He doesn't show it. That's one of the things I like best about him. Well, I could have been fooled if it weren't for you. Thanks for the valuable information, Fiona. Of course, yeah, we were just talking behind your back about you. Who's this? It's just suspect. We don't know who he is, do we? Who is this guy? Is he the murderer? He looks suspicious. So you're the FBI agent, are you? General, owner of the scrapyard. Oh, okay. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I'm the general. I fought for my country in the Vietnam War. A real-life war hero. So why are you living here? Soldier, this is my hometown. After a man returns from war, there's no place to go other than his hometown. Your little speech, you mentioned the raincoat killer. Was that a problem? You imbecile. The raincoat killer's no myth, not mere folklore. Not a fairy tale. It's based on actual events that happen in this town. It is. I'm interested. Can you tell me more about this? <laughs> you kids today don't even know how to ask for something right. Soldier, if you want to hear more, you come to my office. He literally exudes raw power, Zack. Despite the credibility issues, we should give him a visit. One thing, though. He calls himself a general, but isn't that a sergeant's uniform? Oh, very good. Okay, so who else can we talk to? Uh, we already know them quite well. Hey, Lily. Agent York, your speech frightened some of us a little. You should work on being more sensitive with words when talking to groups. Really? I tried my best to be gentle. So, have you noticed anything strange or out of place recently? Hmm. Just Becky, really. She works part-time at the store. She's been acting strange recently. Strange? How? I took the boys along to visit her house today. I was just worried, you know, because she hasn't come into work at all after that incident. But she took in the boys and told me to wait outside. Something about a special secret between just the three of them. I just couldn't understand it. Now that's interesting. Thank you, Lily. Perhaps we should give Becky a visit tomorrow, Zack. Yes, that is exactly what we should do. What are you doing over here, Keith? Hey, York! You were rocking it large up there! Was I? I haven't been on stage like that since elementary school. You made me think, man, like, 
Things can't go on like this. We need, like, some action or something. I was pretty psyched up, you know, before you got on stage. I was like, dude, a real psycho in town. Pretty sweet gig. But now, I mean, dude, that lunatic could be any one of us, man. I don't want to think of that whack job coming after my family. Makes me shudder all over, man. It was way too heavy. You'll catch him. Right, FBI? Of course. <laughs>